All right, back with another one. So welcome back. So this is where we stand now. Now just been 90 to 88. We're up two points. We're in the fourth quarter. Coming up on eight minutes. So let's see how this works out. Let's see if we can actually pull out a win. There we go. But you can't let it get blocked like that. You just can't. But at any rate, um, DTSC gameplay um, with NBA 2K22. I'm one half of the co-host of Double Take Sports Talk. I'm Daryl. So if you get a minute, just subscribe to our channel, like our videos. And hopefully it'll help out with all of our good algorithms and stats and helping with uh, supporting and growing our channel. Good pass. Good pass. I would really, really appreciate that. He can make it. He can make it work for Memphis. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. That's a way to actually go out and actually get it, get to the foul line. At the line for your Kings, Tyrese Halliburton. You know, you look at all these players and they play and they make good money and all that stuff. I came across a stat that was pretty interesting. It could have grown and it probably could have shot down, but I will do more research on this. Um. Did anybody know that 60% of NBA players become broke after five years of retirement? One of those players is Latrell Sprewell. So he's struggling. And he has a story to say about it. Um, it's just one of those things, unfortunately, things that can happen. <coughs> Excuse me. Like a lot of people do not actually be smart about how they're spending their money and and that's how they become broke. Some people are. Some people are smart about how they spend their money. They go and invest it, they'll go and, you know, um, make more than one stream of income. Mm, that was a good way to actually go and attack the basket but that block just helped everything so no points on the board for that one we still up four but that's pretty good but this time around we was getting embarrassed against the clippers <clears throat> but as i was saying it's like i said it's very unfortunate for that and um sometimes you have to sit down and think like damn what are y'all thinking? Like, can we, you know, how can we be more smarter? Do we have to have more financial advisors around? But what are the odds that you can actually trust them? Because they could go and steal your money quickly. You know, so it's a lot to think about when that comes. Because you really don't want to have an advisor when it comes to money, to your money. 
but then you have those people that don't want advisors that are not smart with their money either. So sometimes you just really have to like draw a line, and that sixty percent could be better. You know. So you know that's just some things to think about. That's just some things to think about. But let me know your thoughts about that. Um, even though that players um, become broke after five years of retirement and that was 60% but like I said that number could have went up but let me know your thoughts about that oh you had an opportunity and you just missed it no no don't do you don't do that if you want to draw a double team you have to draw a double team at the right time because your center will make a play. Hmm, that was another bad play. Down by one. Now they got yeah, no kidding. Now they got a chance to take the lead. So yeah, compose yourself and try to do a little better. Look, wide open again. Now nah, you're happy that he missed it. Because that was three points right there. There you go. Yep. And they're behind you. And that's screen and roll. Give it up. So like I said, you had two options. You could take it yourself or you could take your man to get it. Wide open again. See, they could have been another three points. They could have been back to back threes for them. Almost another turnover. Okay. That's his third personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for Sacramento. Rashawn Holmes. At the line for two. Sorry, I hit the mic by accident. Point to the being that sometimes you just have to step up when it comes down to these free throws. And that was just proven right there. Missed free throw. And we're up by four. But stellar defense like that is the reason that you can keep up on missed free throws. But you never want to put yourself through that situation either.
This is interesting that the fans are awfully silent. It's very interesting. You're at home. And you give a little support. But you realize that it's under two minutes. I believe. No, it's under three minutes. I can't tell. Like how I'm looking at this. It's um, a little blurry. So. I would love to have a full blown view of this. So. Oh man. So you gotta do it to slow this down. They close this out. Get a basket. Now see how he's shooting off his pick. There you go. De drop. There you go. Dylan Brooks kind of dodging the pick right there, and that gave an opportunity for the center to come up and actually make a play. So that hurt Dylan Brooks in that situation. So now MP is going to the line. Slow it down. Slow it down. Got an eight point lead. There's no need to rush this. This is actually, you can actually close this game out right here. <coughs> oh, you should have kept, okay. Okay. I'll take that. He still went straight to the basket. Now it's a 10 point game. With 40 seconds left in the game. So you can pretty much you never know what happens in you know in video games or real NBA life, but you can stick a fork in this. But we'll see how this works out in the remaining 40 seconds. <coughs> and once again, I appreciate everyone watching this. Uh, give this video a like, subscribe to our channel. I appreciate it very very much. We're coming, of course, as you can obviously see, down to the 40 seconds, coming down to the end of this video. MP with the player of the game. Okay. So you pretty much say that they bounced back. That we bounced back from the Clippers game. That was an embarrassing loss. And we kind of took our, you know, um, lessons and learned how we could be able to still close out the games in the fourth quarter in the second half alone so so this was a pretty you know felt feel good game the opportunity to bounce back from that loss all right you could kind of stick a fork in it this is over It doesn't matter in that case right there. It just doesn't matter. And it's still not hitting, so it doesn't matter. So that's it. We actually close it out. Much needed win. Much needed win. So that's good. Sacramento Kings actually redeemed themselves. But that's it for this. I uh, appreciate everyone watching this. Really, really appreciate it. So join me next time. I have another gameplay content for you. But I hope you enjoyed this game. And enjoyed it all the way through. And got another badge. So that's good. I'll be working on that. But 
once again I hope everybody enjoyed this as much as I do just doing like commentary on it I really really enjoy it so but until then I'm out <laughs>